Brittany has always said, and I'm quoting, good morals mean waiting to have sex until after you've been married. I would definitely agree with her on that. Okay. Did you and she live up to this during your relationship? Sure. <laughs> sure. Then having that same guy you got pregnant for write a song like Cry Me a River. Perhaps the breakup with Justin was when you started to sense the tide turning a little bit in your life. I do think there was a little shift there, definitely. I just got finished with my book. It's coming out very soon. and what you thought of it, what it was like. Obviously, the feelings of love weren't as developed as they possibly could be. At 12? Yeah, so I was pretty infatuated with her. Did you give her her first kiss? Uh, I think so. I think I did give her her first kiss. In the Mickey Mouse Club? Yeah. Do you remember it? Yeah, I do. I do. That gives me vital I went home for like two years and I was completely normal. I went to um, high school. I was just, you know, really involved with my school until I got a phone call from my lawyer in New York. A couple months later and said, you know, pop music's coming back. It's getting really, really strong. And, I, you know, there's not a single, you know, female out there right now that's doing it on her own, a young person. So I went, I flew to New York for the day. Finally. How was I supposed to know? And the tour with it fits Britney Spears and teen pop music's new queen. And Hi, I'm in sync. And we're Britney Spears. Have you known Justin a long time, right? Yeah, since I was like 12 years old. 12 years old, yeah. and now you're like officially dating. Yes, we are. That's so cute. <laughs> Huge, huge, huge debut. Be a record. Maybe one more time. Debut at number one. I'm so excited. I'm flipped out. Britney. Britney. This is Britney Spears. Again. Looks like Britney and everyone dancing and singing along. no idea it was going to be such a big deal of what I had on. I just wanted to be really sparkly and pretty. I wanted to do it, but my mom wouldn't let me. And just listen. Really, if I had an opportunity to, to shoot Britney Spears, I think I would. Oh, that's horrible. Well, she's the example for kids and how hard it is to be a parent and keep all of this away from your kids. Well, that's really sad. I'd like to thank um, Jesus Christ and my family. You're not going to have sex before your marriage. Why? Uh, is that a standard that is hard to live up to? Um. No, not at all. I'm a constant speculation about your virginity and whether you are a virgin or not.
mean, it's part of what we do. I couldn't be more proud, honestly. She's like unbelievable. I know. I know. Trust me, oh! I see it every day. <laughs> no. ago it all fell apart justin everybody has asked you what went wrong you know um i remember when we decided that we were going to go our separate ways and i promised to her that i wouldn't say specifically why we broke up you've been quoted as saying something very bad happened the question is that Brittany did something very bad that hurt you she had a relationship with somebody else you know we're not perfect I don't judge anybody. Jordan Sick and Brittany tonight. Um, I think that, uh, it, I don't judge anybody. I think that, uh, it's just a situation of, it's just young love. It's a very intense relationship. That's for sure. So you had to attend. And asked him to play something from Justified. He chose instead to play a song that nobody has ever heard before. Interesting lyric. Hey girl, at least you gave me another song about a horrible woman. The breakup with Britney has been devastating for Justin. He turned to his mother for help. When Justin and Britney broke up, and he has said publicly that he cried himself to sleep at night, and it was a broken heart. I, you know, I cried with him. How's he, he was heartbroken. <laughs> Put your head on mommy's shoulder. Brittany has always said, and I'm quoting, good morals mean waiting to have sex until after you've been married. I would definitely Take agree with her on that. Did you and she live up to this during your relationship? Sure. <laughs> sure. You Britney Spears. <laughs> yes or no? Oh, man. Come on, man. Okay, I did it. No. Control of the narrative. Painted this image that he was the high school quarterback and she was the school slut. Remember, that's a beautiful, beautiful video. And Thank well, who's you. that about? <laughs> the hat looked familiar, but I couldn't really, uh... television you pretty much said you broke his heart you did something that caused him so much pain what did you do I was upset I was upset for a while we but but you said I've only slept with one person in my whole life and yet he's he's left the impression that that you weren't faithful I think everyone has a side of their story if you were talking to your little sister now and the girl who said that she was going to stay a virgin till she got married. Do you still think there's something to be said for that? I think, honestly, if you can wait till you're married, I think you should definitely 
do that because it's so much more sacred. I really thought that I was going to be with him for the rest of my life. But I would love to have a family. That, was, that would be when I'm the most content. My kids and just, I mean, that's, they become your life. It's not all about you. And they put the captions on their magazines, baby in danger. But I wouldn't be in danger if I didn't have like this impactful thing around me all the time. Do you think perhaps the breakup with Justin was when you started to sense the tide turning a little bit in your life? I do think there was a little shift there, definitely. What do you think is going on with Brittany? Um, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I haven't spoken to her in years.